Hello, and welcome to Tip of the Week by CAD Tech Seminars. You can find us on the web at thebimguys.com. We do Revit, AutoCAD, and Navisworks training, support, implementation, and we also do BIM coordination. So uh, in this tip, we're going to talk about how to deal with roof materials. Up here, you'll notice on the top left, I have a fill pattern. Now I'll go up to annotate right, and we can use a thing called a fill. Drop this down, you'll see we have our filled region. And we have a filled region here and it's called shingles and we put a, put a certain pattern in there. Now what we want to do is put that pattern on the roof. Now there's a couple ways to apply a pattern. Uh, different ways result in different options. For instance, if I type in VV right now, uh, Victor Victor, uh, it's going to pull up the visibility graphics override. Now if you're not much into shortcuts, you can go right here to visibility graphics and you can fire it up. Now as we roll down, I'm going to also mention if some things are missing, let's say you're looking down here, you're saying, I can't find the floors. Uh, it may be because one of these are turned off. So uh, I've come from AutoCAD world and having 200 layers is, you know, this is typical. So I usually leave them all on. That way I know they're there. Now if I'm doing architectural work, sometimes I'll turn off piping. Uh, but again, you can turn them on all, all on and we scroll down. When we get to the R's, you'll see we have roof here. Now the roof this layer or category has an override with the patterns here. If I click on here you'll notice that the roof now has a pattern. Now the pattern when you use this option if I hit the little three buttons here you'll notice it drop down or if I hit it here I'm limited to what patterns I can use. Notice it's a drafting pattern. So what I want to use is a more of a real shingle. Uh, I want to use a model pattern but notice it's grayed out. So to apply a model model pattern, excuse me, what you're going to do is remove this, clear the overrides, hit OK, and we're going to hit OK. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to apply it to the actual roof material. So I'm going to click on the roof itself. At this point it highlights, and because of the video card I got a kind of weird result there, but that's not a big deal. We're going to go up top and hit Edit Type. Now when I come in here you'll see it says Structure. I'm going to make this a little smaller so it's on the screen here. I'm going to go to Edit, and you'll notice that we have a finish called Asphalt Shingle. Now this is a material. Now when I click on the little button next to it, which you don't see yet, see it just popped up. I hit that little three dots. That usually means it's going to another a dialog box. That's a Windows graphic. Um, whenever you see three dots, you go into a Windows uh, dialog. So I'll fire that up, and it's going to pull up the materials dialog box. Inside the material browser or, or dialog, you can see here we have the material asphalt shingle. You'll notice currently the asphalt shingle does not have a material or a surface, well the material doesn't have a surface pattern associated with it. So what we can do is come over here and say I want to associate one. Now notice what you can do here. So I can toggle between both of these materials. So I'm going to go straight to model, scroll on down, and I'm going to look for that shingle material again, that shake. So I click on it, I hit OK, and you notice that it brings it in and it is jet black right now. So if I want to throttle it down, what you can do is click here, and then pull this up, or if you want to go to a preset color, choose the color of your choice. We hit OK. And now what's going to happen is whenever Revit sees asphalt shingle and you're standing away from the object looking at the surface, it will show that material. We also have the ability in the later versions of Revit to add two materials on top of each other. So you'll see I have a background material and a foreground material. That, that can give me the ability to really add a color and then a material on top of it or a, a pattern or two patterns on top of each other. Now if we come down here to cut pattern this is going to give you the ability to show a material or excuse me a pattern when the material is cut. So we're going to change that just as we did. Let's hit OK on that. And now the asphalt shingle when it's seen will have a surface pattern. So let's go ahead and hit OK on that. We hit OK and now you'll notice that the roof now has that shingle pattern. We also throttled it back. You'll notice that by making it a lighter gray, it's not so uh, in your face. So when I scroll back, you'll see how we can see it throughout the project. So a quick tip there on how to set your roof patterns in Revit. If you have any questions, check us out on the web at thebimguys.com.